In this video, let's understand about layout groups. The concept is best understood with an example, so let's dive into the code straight away. For this example, we're going to be implementing authentication related routes, login and register. Let's begin by creating the two routes. Within the routes folder, create two new folders. Register and login. Within each folder, create a page.svelte file. In the register route, I'm going to add an h1 tag that says register. And in the login route, I'm going to add an h1 tag that says login. If we head to the browser, and navigate to slash register, we see the expected text. Navigate to slash login, and once again, we see the expected text. Now the product owner of our application comes to us with a new requirement. The requirement is that all authentication related routes should have their own layout. The layout should simply contain a heading that says, welcome to code evolution. All right, that seems simple enough. Now from the previous video, we know how to define a layout for both these routes. We need a containing folder where we can define the layout.svelte file. Let's start with that. In the routes folder, I'm going to create a new folder called auth. Within the folder, I'm going to create a plus layout.svelte file. The HTML is going to be an h1 tag Welcome to Code Evolution. Next, I'm going to move both register and login folders within the auth folder. We can now head back to the browser and navigate to slash auth slash register and we see the welcome text. Let's make sure to include the slot tag to render the appropriate page. Head back to the browser. And for slash register, we see welcome to code evolution from the layout and the text register. Navigate to slash auth slash login. And we see the same welcome to code evolution, but this time with login text. Our layout seems to be working as expected but not so fast. Our product owner comes back with what seems to be clearly frustration on the face. They are not happy that the register and login URLs have changed. They now contain slash auth in them and that was not expected. We now have a problem. We need to group login and register routes together to define a common layout but we don't want the additional auth route segment in the URL. Now what can we do about that? Well, this is where Svelkit's layout groups come into picture. Svelkit allows us to group routes with a folder whose name is wrapped in parentheses. So parentheses auth. This effectively groups the routes together without affecting the URL. Back in the browser, navigate to slash register and we see the layout text. Slash login and we see the same layout text. The URL remains the same as before. Slash login and slash register. There is no slash auth segment. This is a win-win situation for the product owner and the devs who can achieve it with minimal effort. Layout groups are very handy when your app has several different layouts like auth, dashboard, marketing, etc. But the grouping should not affect the URL path. Alright, please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.